know us. You know us. Look at my diamonds, they dancing. They dancing. Petro Cup paint is the fashion. Hey, what's going on, people? Your boy, man, Mike, coming at you guys with the three things that stood out the Falcons' loss to the Indianapolis Colts. So, let's get straight to it, man. The first thing that stood out to me is just the defensive side of the ball. Now, we already know that this team has been up and down as it pertains to the defense. Now, the defense came out extremely slow. I don't know if it was the game plan. I don't know if it was the energy with the players, but it just did not get off to a good start. I'm going to go out and say that I don't think the Falcons players respected Jacoby Brissett as a quarterback. They thought it was just going to come out and is do what they did against the Eagles and you can't do that everyone is in the NFL for a reason Frank Wright is a brilliant play caller he knows how to get the ball out of the quarterback's hand how to get these guys into a rhythm to find their comfort zone comfort level he knows how to do that so from an offensive coordinator position standpoint Frank Wright did a great job of getting Jacoby Brissett in rhythm and the Falcons just came out way too way too slow and they just didn't have any energy is this a Dan Quinn issue is this a player's issue there lies the question there lies the question for me for what I'm going to say a lot of people not going to be on the bandwagon because everybody's saying right now we need to fire Dan Quinn we need to fire Dan Quinn. But sometimes, sometimes, you can put together a brilliant play, game plan. You can put, put together a poor game plan. But players still have to execute. Players did not execute this game plan. Dan Quinn scratched it after the first quarter. He scratched it and got more aggressive. And players still did not play well. Jacoby Brissett was already into a rhythm. Penalties all over the field. Is this a coaching issue? I don't, I don't think so. Like I said, this is a difference of opinion. But I don't think this is a coaching issue. You can have a great practice all you want, but when those lights come on, players know who is going to step up. We know who the players are going to step up. So we can have all the great practices we want, but players still have to execute. Regardless of the game plan, you have to execute. And the Falcons players did not execute. 16 penalties in the game. That's, you got to do better. And Dan Quinn has to be to do a better job of benching guys who don't execute. Second one, I told you guys, man. This is why I say we have to be patient. People hate it when I say this. We have to be patient. All the talk prior to this game was Devontae Freeman needs to be benched by Edo Smith. And I said this before. We don't know if Edo Smith has been injured. He's had a history with injuries. And he went out with a concussion this game. This is the NFL. Running backs get hurt. And we still don't know if Edo Smith is injury prone. The same thing that you got upon that Devontae Freeman. Now Edo Smith has had this issue. So let's be patient. 88 yards rushing. The O-line got it going. They're starting. They're beginning to mesh. We just have to be patient and wait things out. Okay. And these are two, three. These are kind of three things. Um, For the third thing. And this is kind of a bonus, a little a weird little thing that I want to do. Calvin Ridley. One catch, bro. There's no reason why Calvin Ridley shouldn't have been more into the game plan. We threw the ball more than Luke Starkin and Calvin Ridley, dog. That's a major problem. And granted that coach defense was being very good, but we shouldn't have Luke Starkin with more targets than Calvin Ridley. Muhammad Sanu. This should not happen. But big ups to the coach defense for doing a great job of taking away Calvin Ridley for the most part. Julio Jones, you can't take that guy away. But for the most part, man, they did a great job. 
Devondre Campbell still look lost. I think he needs to be benched for either Jermaine Grace or Duke Riley. Get those guys a chance. Foye Olakun, get those guys a chance because he's not doing it. But Luke Stalker. Luke Stalker just has to go. Period, point, blank. But that's it. Let me know what you guys think about this. Leave a comment below. Your boy, man, Mike is our man. Peace. Whipping the Prince of Diana. Double cup bling, found her. Oh, my old God.